Hey, it's that Deadeye guy. Let's talk about Unworthy. Unworthy is a 2D Metroidvania-style platformer with a dark grayscale aesthetic. The only actual color in the game is the blood of your character and enemies. I know it's become kind of a meme at this point, but I have to say it because it's so obvious that what the developer was trying to do with this title. This game was very obviously designed to be a two-dimensional Dark Souls. It contains unforgiving gameplay that leans toward difficulty and requires the player to navigate through areas multiple times via dying and respawning to get the hang of the layout. It even has bonfires, uh, I mean kilns, that you activate to save your game and spawn all of the enemies that you killed back to life, with the exception of bosses. As you progress, you obtain souls, uh, I mean sin, that can be used to purchase items and upgrades. Dying drops all of your sin and it must be picked up on your next life or it's gone for good. You also acquire additional weapons by defeating bosses. These each have different mechanics and change up the combat a little bit to suit the player's situation or tastes. There is no jumping in Unworthy, but there is dodge rolling with invincibility frames. This ability is basically your only respite against oncoming attacks. Jumping is non-existent and the game will punish you for taking even minor falls. All in all, it is precisely what you'd imagine if you heard about a 2D Dark Souls platformer. One thing the developer certainly got right was the atmosphere. The music and aesthetic of the world absolutely got me into the Dark Souls mindset. Though I'm not a particular fan of the grayscale, I can see why the decision was made to use it. Development time would be drastically longer if the world was in color. The enemies are fairly predictable, and the bosses have the standard multi-phase ability set as you wear them down. There isn't anything new or fresh here, but Unworthy definitely scratches a certain itch for fans of Metroidvania. I was a bit turned off by the Dark Souls-like gameplay. I don't think it translates all that well in 2D space, especially when you're taking away the vertical movement with the ability to jump. That's a taste thing though, and it seems like quite a few people do enjoy the playstyle. For games like this, I like the gameplay to be a bit more arcadey, like Castlevania, which is still every bit as unforgiving, but in a very different way. Unworthy can be classified as a rogue light. You gain levels regardless of how many times you die, so as long as you're killing enemies, your character will eventually grow stronger. This is in contrast to Dark Souls where you have to hang onto the currency that is lost upon death in order to spend it for upgrades. Here, leveling is automatic and makes it so lesser skilled players would continue to get more and more of a helping hand if they are struggling. Another difference is that enemies don't seem to be affected by the environment. At one point I ran into enemies that spin at you fairly quickly. On the wall I noticed a set of spikes that instantly kill me, so I baited the baddie to the wall and rolled past him as he spun to what I was assuming his quick death. Instead, he just stopped short of the wall and proceeded to kill me. One of the great things about the Souls series is that enemies can fall off cliffs or get killed by environmental hazards just as the same as the player. That didn't seem to make its way to Unworthy. One thing I do have to address is the frame rate issue. This game comes packaged at 30 frames per second, which is already annoying as it was made for PC. But upon initially firing it up, I noticed the game's frame rate was lagging behind my commands. Upon perusing the forum, I noticed the dev put a post on how to fix this issue, which involved shutting off G-Sync and setting my refresh rate down to 60 Hz. This is... Unacceptable. I understand that this is a very small developer, but at no point should you ask your players to hamstring their systems and hardware just to be able to play your game, especially when it's as simple as Unworthy. Overall, Unworthy seems to be a pretty solid title that doesn't do anything that knocks my socks off. I've mentioned that the style was unappealing to me in 2D space, and all it really did was make me want to go and play Dark Souls instead. Still, there's certainly an audience for this type of game, and at a price of only 15 bucks, it's hard to argue that there isn't some good value here. I'd recommend giving it a try if you're a big fan of platformers and want to see what a 2D take on Dark Souls looks like. Thanks for watching. What did you think of Unworthy? Was the hardcore aspect of this game more appealing to you than it was for me? Let me know down below. And if you like the content, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and you can stick around by hitting that subscribe button. Until next time.